Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much, and I care deeply for you as well. Thank you. Have a, have a seat. I appreciate it, and I'm so, so very glad that you're here. Uh, there's nothing worse than walking out here and finding the place empty. It's, uh, <laughs> It's a, it's a great job. I walk out and, and get that, and it's the weirdest thing in the world when you really think about it. I mean, you just take it for granted because so many people are, you know, in, in, especially in Los Angeles and this kind of business. But to walk out and have this happen every day, and this is my job, it's the greatest thing because I, I come out and I entertain you, and I, I want to make you laugh and make you happy and I do all these little things to, you know, put on a show for you. And I wonder... If, if other, if animals do that sometimes, like if, because I think we're the only ones. I, I, although I know that the peacock uh, does like a, a kind of a funny dance. They kind of go side to side and then the whole plume comes up in the back, but that's to mate. And that's not what I'm doing. Um, and it's not, so if you're here for that, you're at the wrong show. Um, and I, I, there's another bird that does it too, and I couldn't remember the name of it, that does this amazing fancy thing. They put on shows for each other when they're interested. And I learned about the peacocks because I was watching, as always, Animal Planet, which I love that channel. I think it's so great. You learn so much. And also, it, it reminds you how small we are compared to nature. You know, for instance, I'm a size nine, and um, <laughs> a giraffe is, a, a, I believe, a 12 long. And so... <laughs> This is, what, this is what I learned about, well, a few things, but, but mainly I'm getting to one thing at the end that you'll, oh. Um, <laughs> certain animals go through changes because we basically, you know, we evolve somewhat in our lives and we change a little bit, but this is who we are. We're born this way and this is, this is what we are. You know, there are certain animals in, the, in, the, in, the, in nature, like, well, the butterfly is one that's amazing. The insect, it starts a completely different life in a whole different way. It crawls, it's a caterpillar and then it goes into a cocoon, which it makes itself with its bare hands. And I don't think they wear gloves. And um, <laughs> if, if they do, they're so small, you'd really, you couldn't see them. So maybe they wear gloves, I don't know. But anyway, it, becomes, it goes in that cocoon and it turns itself into liquid. I don't know if you knew that. And then it comes out a butterfly, it emerges to feel the wind beneath its wings, which is what Bed Midler sings about. And I think that's incredible to go from a crawling thing to a flying thing. And fish, are incredible too. A little butter, some chopped shallots, <laughs> fresh tomato garnish, and oh. And may I suggest a nice Chardonnay with that? <laughs> bon appetit! <laughs> what was I talking about? Fish. Okay, so some fish turn into d different colors depending on where they are. They can camouflage themselves to save themselves. Parrotfish, I don't know if you know about this, parrotfish can actually change sex. They can go from female to male. And I don't even think David Copperfield can do that. That's <laughs> quite a trick. Okay, this is what I'm trying to get to now. Get ready to have your mind blown. Get ready to, I'm gonna freak your cool out. <laughs> You're gonna be so freaked, your freak will be freaking. <laughs> oh, you'll be freaks. Uh, just bring some water, because there's no turning back on this trip. That's what I'm trying to say. The flounder, this is the most incredible thing I've ever learned. The flounder, you know, it's the, in the family of the sole or the halibut, or it's also called the flat fish. You've had it. It's the, you know what, the flounder is flat on the, you've seen it on the seat, bottom of the floor. And um, <laughs> they start out like we do, I didn't know that. They start out like we do swimming face forward with their bellies to the bottom of the ocean. As they get older, they become round and flattened out and swim on their sides, like we do. Now, <laughs> that's where the similarities end. Okay, the whole face rearranges itself. It starts, it starts what happens is it starts f swimming sideways out of nowhere and one eye is facing down to the sand so it can't really see where it's going. But he doesn't flounder around. You know what he does? Are you buckled in? Because I'm going to freak your freak right now. He pops his eye out of the socket, and the eye moves from the bottom to the, to the other eye next to it so it can be flat on the ground and both eyes are looking up. time in a flounder's life that it actually speaks. It says, that's much better. 
And if I could only speak once in my life, you know what I'd say? I'd say, Tony, I'd love to dance right now. Cut it short today. Because <laughs> that trampoline yesterday with a uh, little Hillary Duff. That was a workout. It really was. You don't think of jumping on a trampoline as a workout. <sighs> that was hurting me. It looked it looked pretty hard. Well then she tried to get me to jump right on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> What's she thinking? She's 17, I'm 46. She goes, do this! She just <laughs> no! Oh man. Tony, I don't know if you know about this, but Chingy. Our friend Chingy yeah. has a new video. Have you seen the new video? No. All right, he has a new video. It's, it's like set, the whole thing is about a pinball machine. And at the end of it, for no reason, the song's got nothing to do with owls, but at the end of it, there's an owl and he's hooting like <laughs> I hoot. <laughs> Chingy's ripping me off. <laughs> yeah. Jeannie must have been, I like the way she does that right there, right there. <laughs> and for no reason, at the end of the video, hoo hoo, he's hooting. No reason. I want, I want my royalties, Jeannie. Give me some money. Oh, Jeannie's gonna give me some blingy. <laughs> I'm telling you, look for it. I'd have to look for that one. Yeah, there's a beautiful think... white spotted owl on the end for no reason <laughs> on a pinball machine just going hoo hoo. <laughs> He doesn't do it as well as I do. You know. Of course, the other one. Oh. Hey, you're on the show today. Wait till you hear. Jimmy Fallon is here. With, uh, with Queen Latifah, and uh, I believe she's here next week. Queen, yeah. And um, also a very talented actress, and I can't say her name enough, Kira Sedgwick. She's here. Look, there she is right there. You recognize her. Um, you recognize her, she was in, uh, you know the movie, Something to Talk About and Phenomenon, you, those, you know those. And um, <laughs> now she's got a new Showtime movie called Cave Dweller, and it's on this Sunday. Um, and uh, here's, here's what I want to share with y'all today. Uh, here on the show, we try to, to stay right on top of the brand new technology. We're, we're basically the epicenter of new technology. A, a NASA will sometimes come to us and say, what are you working on? <laughs> Um, because we're constantly coming up with brand new things that no one has thought of. We have something called a green screen here. And so what we can do with that is you can send in a photo, like a, a, any, any photograph, any video, anything at all, but you have to leave room for Ellen. That's what we're calling it, leave room for Ellen. So if you want me in your photo of some sort, I'll sneak in. You know, it's, a, it, it's like we, we had, for instance, we had a nice family here from California, the Brady's, and they sent this in, and this was the original picture. And then they, there was plenty of room for me, and I just put myself in there. Look at, I'm now, here I am. Every 
everybody gets a hat. Except for Cindy. Well, she gets enough, Cindy. All right, I'll give her one, too. Um, all right, so that's an example. But any, anything you want me, uh, you know, because uh, the, the holidays coming right around the corner. So if you want me on your holiday greeting card, just leave room. Usually you, when you take a picture, you try to center it. Don't do it. Leave plenty of room, and I'll be in your, uh, in your photo or video or anything. Um, so listen, also, I get invited to a lot of events, which is, which is fantastic. Like last year, you know, we had that couple that the guy wanted me to, to surprise his wife and go to her birthday party in Erie, Pennsylvania, but I couldn't do it because I'm here. I'm stuck here. I'm fixed. And so you can see what a fix I'm in. So I'm fixing to fix that. What, what I'm going to do <laughs> is uh, I want to go someplace soon, maybe November, maybe not, but soon. And uh, I, I mentioned it uh, yesterday was the first day, I believe I mentioned it. It, who knows? I could have mentioned it a month ago, but I mentioned it, and we've gotten over 2,600 invites so far of, of people saying what they'd like me to go do. But I'm serious. I really want to go spend, you know, uh, 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 some time with some... I want to keep it real with my peeps. And so... Um, <laughs> so... We get... These are just a few of them that we pulled. We, we're, we're going through them, and I'm going to decide, but I'm serious. I want to do it soon. Um, this is from Mary Schwartz, Schwartzwelder from uh, St. Peter's, uh, Missouri. Uh, Ellen, you're invited to Emily Schwartzwelder's 10th birthday party. Uh, it's a slumber party, so bring your sleeping bag, <laughs> pillow, and PJs. Please RSVP by November 1st. Hope to see you there. Um, well, why call it a slumber party? Nobody's gonna sleep. We'll call it a Giggle Fest 2004 is what we'll call it. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. That's a good one to think about. I'll ask my mom if she minds driving me to Missouri. And uh, <laughs> then she'll have to pick me up in the morning, too. So I'll think about that one. Deborah Henning from Naples, Florida. We would like to invite you to the christening of our boat, Happy Hours. Um, we're uh, Happy Hours. I get it. Um, <laughs> we're planning the big event for some time after November 11th and would be happy to adhere to your schedule. She's an 18-foot Duffy electronic book, a boat that is environmentally safe. We cruise on Fiddler's Creek, which is at present three and a half miles long and experience wildlife all around. We just kind of go back and forth along the creek, watch the gators and drink and party. Uh, <laughs> no swimming allowed for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> all right, listen, I am not afraid to tell you that I'm afraid of alligators. <laughs> and uh, if the boat is electronic, couldn't we just stay on shore and just work it with a remote control? <laughs> It sounds like fun. It's, you know who loves wildlife and alligators, though? Tony. <laughs> you yeah. might... I, do I? Yeah, I do. Yeah, see? I can't yeah. swim, though. Yeah, but, well, you're on the boat. What? No. They say it's safe, Tony. Uh, no. All right, we'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your mind open to it. I will. Uh, here's Pia Ventola from Westwood, Massachusetts. Our kids uh, and about 20 of their friends have been working for the last month and a half on a haunted backyard. They've built props and sets, and yet we're still short some actors. No one wants to be in the clown tent. There's no lines to memorize. You just have to act creepy and insane while dressed as a clown. No offense. <laughs> act creepy and insane while dressed as a clown. Pia, I'm looking for new ways to spend my weekends. <laughs> All right, uh, Janet Kingery from Wheatfield, Indiana. Uh, I'm a clogger, and since you love to dance, thought you might like to go to a clogging workshop. It's this Saturday, October 16th in Columbus, Indiana. There are about 200 cloggers there, and we learn new dance routines, and in the evening, there's a big dance and exhibitions, clogging, that is. Um, wow, 200 people clogging. Uh, I'm afraid I have plans that weekend, but... Um, <laughs> I'll tell you who really likes to clog, my friend. with 199 more of those. 
Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Hey, for everybody who sent in your generous invites, a tip of the hat and a peck on the cheek to you. When we come back, Jimmy Fallon's going to sit right there. We all fell in love with our first guest for six seasons on Saturday Night Live. His new film, Taxi, is currently in theaters. Please welcome the adorable Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Jimmy. I'm psyched. This is really cool. Uh, you know, Tina Fey says this is a really great show. She's like, I love doing it. Oh, well, tell Tina Fey hello. I definitely will. And I'm thrilled that you're here, too. Oh, thank you. And, and you're just Am I okay? Am I... You're cute as can be. Oh, I thought you were going to tuck me. Uh, I thought no, I, to tuck I, was, <laughs> I was just touching you because I just always like the way you dress. I love you, all your little sweaters. I like your suits. I like, I just, uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> really? I, I adore you. All right, very nice. You thank know, you, so you know, much. I do. And I don't know why you'd leave Saturday Night Live. Why'd you do it? I'm sorry. Why would yeah, you? I, I mean, I, really, I, I'm, we're going to miss you like crazy. Why uh, would I'm going to miss it more than anybody else. If I, but it's like, you know, too much of anything, you know, it's, it's good about the show, really, is that it evolves, you know? Yeah. Because if people were still doing the Coneheads now, it probably wouldn't be as no. exciting. <laughs> it's the 70s, you know? So it's like, I had to leave. I had, my contract was up. I miss it. And I mean, I still love everyone there. And yeah. I'm going to miss Like, especially the news is going to be crazy watching Tina. And now, I'll who's doing like, it with Tina now? No one knows yet. I swear to God, this is the way the show works. It's so last minute. They don't know anything until it's Saturday. Well, <laughs> go, you, you're gonna do an update with me, you know, something like that. It's seriously, you don't know who yet. I really don't. I mean, I know it's like that because when I hosted, I'd say, I I'd say that she could probably do it by herself, or you know, Amy yeah. Poehler. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd know. be great to have the two of them two do girls. it. Two girls. Yeah. Not that was my idea, but then I don't know. You never know what they're gonna do. Yeah. No one well, listens to me. I'm not on the show anymore. <laughs> Are you gonna go? No, I just go on other people's show and I give them advice about their show. <laughs> well, you know what you should do? I bet they'll take it because no. you give good advice. You were you were great on the show. I mean, I'm I'm gonna I really You're so am cool. Gonna Thank you for saying that. And I so, love I love being on. Um, and I was trying to. I was asking them today because um, I was forgetting all the impressions you do. I I like especially when you sing, but you do uh, mm. amazing. You do Adam Sandler. I do like Do a little Adam Sandler. Jabba de doo. And then Jerry Seinfeld. Okay, people, okay. It's just that easy, just little tiny snippets. And then John Travolta. She's like, it's like ladder 49, right? It's like sort of like sort of the sort of guy. I'm not the guy. It's like crazy thing, right? I swear to God. That was my joke. That was my joke. I see that's how that's how John Travolta goes down ladder 49. Uh, yeah. He just go like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have a real joke. All right. Half joke. Uh, well, <laughs> while you're up, it's got a, a Mick Jagger. Oh, uh, come on, rock, come on, rock, do it. Rock, come on, rock, rock, hey, yo, you know what it is, rock, you know how to play it. Come on, what are you playing at? <laughs> Now, do you run into people when you do these impressions? Have you ever run into anybody yeah, that... Yeah, uh... actually, recently, it just happened. I got, I got invited to go on a, uh, a, a private jet. And so it's like a tiny little plane. So I'm like, oh, this is cool. It's a cool thing. But it's a small plane. So I go, oh, this is great. Thank you. Who am I, who am I flying with? They go, uh, Pat O'Brien. <laughs> and so I just had to sit with Pat O'Brien for like three hours on a plane. <laughs> like, uh, that's Jimmy. Pat O'Brien yeah, right there. Hey, shot. Jimmy. Hey, it's Pat O'Brien. I don't breathe through my nose ever. <laughs> Did you see me on the Olympics? <laughs> We're sitting across from each other like this. Did you, did you see me on the Olympics? <laughs> yeah, I did. I saw you. Yeah, I'm the insider. <laughs> yeah, when do, you, when do you see what Mary Van Peebles eats in a cereal? <laughs> when do you see what Nicole Kidman had to say at the Venice Film Festival? <laughs> and I'm like, can we land somewhere? <laughs> anyway, we just land. I'm happy in Kansas. I don't care. <laughs> the, land the plane. <laughs> Jimmy, look at my mustache, my color is yeah. it. <laughs> Why not? It's golden, like the mustard. <laughs> Why? What am I doing? And it's just the two of you sitting across Co from right each acro other? Directly across. I pretend I was asleep one way. Uh, <laughs> Why do you see Paul Ham? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the steward, and the stewardess was like... <laughs> winking at each other. <laughs> we're on the, yeah, we're on the same page. Oh. The only thing that would be worse is you getting on a plane with him after this. Yeah, the... <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing that could be worse than that. <laughs> You're definitely right. Yeah. No, you know, he's a good, to be honest, yeah. he's a good sport and he knows I do the impression. He actually yes. says, like, Jimmy, you should do it meaner. You gotta be even more mean. Talk about, you know, I'm an ego, egomaniac. 
Yeah. Talk about, yeah, and he like, talks to me all, like, he always tells me to get meaner, even go harder on, his, on the impression. Really? He likes it, yeah. But the thing about Pat O'Brien, too, is like he you know, acts as Hollywood guy, insider guy. He always wears a suit and stuff. And so uh, uh, what, he, what he does is like, when you meet him out, he wears just like really just street clothes. Mm -hmm. But he almost does it a little bit too hard. Mm -hmm. So he wears like really super tight jeans and tight shirt and like <laughs> ski hat and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I get it, man. You're not that guy. It's like, but he wears really tight clothes. I'm like, are you in Cirque du Soleil? Yeah. <laughs> is that what you're telling me? But he's not. He's not in Cirque du Soleil. He's in Blue Man Group. And, uh, no, he's not. In Blue Man. And a ski hat. He wears a ski hat? Of course he does. Uh, why, wouldn't, why wouldn't he wear a ski hat? Yeah, well. Not like a ski hat with a ski mask, but no, hold no, no. on. I can stick him up. That no. means Silly. Yeah, yeah. that would be absolutely. Well, it could be cool. Let's, yeah. We could start a trend. Yeah. I've actually wanted to do that instead of getting tinted windows, just wear a ski hat when I drive. Because when you drive? Yeah, because the tinted windows are illegal. So I could just wear the ski mask when I drive. Yeah, you got to turn the AC up. Well, yes. Careful. Wear shorts. Yes. Yeah, no, 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 oh, I'd compensate. I'd be naked the rest of me. <laughs> Wait, we have to take a break. I'll be right back right after this. And you and Queen Latifah. Yeah. And how was that? Did you love making the movie with her? Super cool. I'll do anything with Queen Latifah. Yeah. I go go shopping with Queen Latifah. Uh -huh. Cook something with Queen Latifah. Uh -huh. Get a little loving with Queen. No. Uh -huh. no, no, no. <laughs> I love Queen Latifah. She's a cutie, man. Uh -huh. I'm so super like funny, gets the joke, generous. Mm -hmm. Like she really like off camera. Like come on, Drew. Like, was making me, you know, go for the scene or whatever. Awesome, awesome. I can't wait to do something else with her again. She was yeah. great. And and you play you play a cop. I play a cop. A tough cop, it looks like. That was pretty tough. Yes. <laughs> I had to flip. Yeah. Yeah. Play a cop who can't, like a really good cop from Brooklyn uh, who can't drive that well. Well, people in Brooklyn, you walk everywhere in Brooklyn. You know, LA, you, LA, there's no, it's all driving. So, I mean, I know the LA, you have to, to walk somewhere, you have to drive somewhere to walk in right, LA. Right, right. Oh, you know, a good place to walk? Yeah. yeah. Take the 405 to the. Yeah. Right. One of, yeah. Then you're a great place to walk. Uh, so, I, uh, so he's a cop that just can't drive, not a good driver at all. And Latifah plays a cab driver who's awesome at driving. She knows everything is an out, and her cab is like a souped up cab, and we chase after these uh, Brazilian supermodels who are robbing banks. Oh. <laughs> you right? That, that happens, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a... Well, I think the media tries to keep it away from everyone, but I think like yeah. 60 to 75% of all bank robberies are supermodels. Brazilian supermodels. Yes. Yeah, definitely. That's. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, they're disguised as Brazilian supermodels. Yes. And then they just take off their Yeah, exactly. Face. And then they have a scar and an eye right, patch. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. But it's Giselle Bunchen, and, and she's like, is her first, she's gorgeous. Have yeah. you had her on? No. You got her. Okay, I she's will. She's great. All she right. She keeps talking, talking, talking all the time. Mm -hmm. Really cute and fun. She talking, talking, talking all the time? She talking, talking, like, isn't yes. that a nice yes. way to talk to somebody? Yeah. You talking, talking all the time? Talking, no. talking all the time. Yeah, as I'm talking all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up for once. Listen, no. <laughs> Oh, I love that you're on. Wait, hey! <laughs> I almost wet my pants. I really had to calm. I had to relax. I had to no, relax. You know, you do have to relax, and, and we were we were told that here's one way you want to relax, and we want to do this for you because it's a dream of yours to go in a hot air balloon. Is yes. that right? So we are giving you a trip, and it's courtesy of Fantasy Balloon Flights you're from Port Jervis, New, New, New York. Yeah, and so uh, you go on the the hot air balloon flight on us. And bring a video camera and show us what it's like. Would you do that? I will totally do that. Okay. That's like the coolest thing ever. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Yes, I'm yes, not going to do it. Yes, you're going to have it. Yeah, it's awesome. The new film Topsy is currently in theaters nationwide. We'll be right back right after this. All right. I was reading these emails, and there was one more that, that I, I really want to read this email, and uh, we're just going to make time for it because it's too good. And um, if you're just joining us, why? But. Uh, <laughs> People are, are, are inviting me to different things, and, uh, and I'm really going to do it. I'm not kidding around. You invite me, and if it's good enough, I'm going. And this one has really piqued my interest. Uh, this is from Christine Kelly from Old Bethpage, New York. Uh, Dear Ellen, I am not inviting you to a party. I'm inviting you to party. Uh, I'm turning 36 on November 20th. And I figure what's good for the goose is good for the gander. By this, I mean my husband recently went away on a guy's outing to Miami Jets football game. While there, they did the typical guy thing, bars, half-naked women, and even celebrate a guy's bachelor party who they didn't even know. Um, I would like to join, I would like you to join us for my birthday for a night out at, at Escapes. It's a Long Island male review show followed by dancing afterwards at a very popular dance club where the male strippers will join us. Um, while, the, yeah. while the male review show may not excite you or be your cup of tea, the, uh, 
<laughs> the dance club may. Please help me show my hubby that I can have an even better time and party with my friend Ellen. P.S. My best friend moved from Las Vegas shortly after I married 10 years ago, and I've barely seen her since. She's having a really tough time there. Divorced, single mom, lost job, etc. Definitely needs a good hometown night out. Maybe you can convince her to make the trip. Um, producers, I would need a heads up so I can book escapes and a limo. Thanks. <laughs> Christine Kelly. And uh, when I see something like this, I don't waste time. <laughs> I'm gonna bring Kitty. <laughs> I don't, I, if she needs time to book it, I don't wanna fool around. Where is this New York? So, Long, Long Island. She's probably working or something right now. She wants a stretch limo. That's nice. We got Kitty Hummer. We can do that. Hi, you've reached the Kelly. Sorry, we're not here to take your call. Please leave a message. Did you say you're not going to take the call? Or they're not able to take the call? Hey, Christine, it's Ellen DeGeneres calling. And uh, I just wanted to say, that sounds good to me. I, I, I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, what are you talking about? Not my cup of tea. Uh, the whole kettle is mine. The whole thing. <laughs> all of it. I am, I am all about that party. All right, so um, listen, uh, call us back. And uh, you have our number, right? Or look it up. And. Um, <laughs> And that sounds like a lot of fun. So let me know when you're thinking about doing this. But uh, we will go to escapes. I bet a, a lot of people call it escapes. But we're gonna, we're gonna maybe uh, we're thinking about it. You're a top runner right now. So anyway, I'm not gonna ramble because I know it's a machine and you probably have other messages. I hate that when people leave a long, long message <laughs> and you're like, what is it? Just leave the information and hang up. And that you know they just keep talking and talking instead of you know. And then they go, oh, I'm gonna hang up. And then they don't hang up. It's like. The people that go, long story short, well, just tell me the short story instead of adding a sentence, long story short. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, all right, goodbye. Yeah. Here's Cedric, joins us right after this. We'll be right back. Our next guest has starred in such hits as Born on the Fourth of July, Something to Talk About, and Phenomenon. This Sunday, you can catch her in Showtime's original movie, Cave Dweller. Please welcome Kira Sedgwick. <laughs> A bunch of people get confused on where to walk I up. Know, it doesn't I know. really you know, matter. He showed me a little map, but I, I got lost. Was there a map back there? Yeah, there's a little map, but yeah, I'm not very bright. No. So. <laughs> well, no, a lot of people, for some reason, it, because you have choices. Right, exactly. There shouldn't be a choice. Does that mean that's how yeah. you are in life? Yeah. You, you kind of like have to stop and yeah, think I'm about something? Yeah, I'm not very decisive, no. See, no. you don't just make a decision, go no, on up that no, way. No, I wait for others to tell me what to do. And yeah. also, and also, I doubt that seriously. <laughs> um, and also, that, really? that, well, that means you could get in trouble. So you also care about, like, that's, right. that's the wrong way on getting right, trouble. right thing, exactly. That's a nice thing, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think. I try. I feel like, um, I feel like we've met, but I don't think we have. Your husband was no. here. Yes. And you were here, but I didn't see you. No, I was here, but I don't think I met you, no. Never. But, you know, it's, it's always better to hedge your bets and say, nice to see you instead of nice to meet you, just in case you've actually met the person before and forgotten. I do that now because I have said nice to, and as I'm saying meet, they're like, they're saying, good to see you again, and right when you're saying meet. <laughs> right. And it, it's so... And they get kind of hurt if you've met them before and you don't remember, and they say, no, 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 we met. Right. You remember that, right? And, and, then, and then you're like, no. Oh, do you say no? Feel, you don't lie and go, oh, that's no, right. I, I'm not a good liar, yeah. actually. No, another thing I'm bad at, yeah. actually. I'm not no. good at lying either, but if I see that they're <laughs> sad that I didn't remember right. them, I then go, you go oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. I always say the same line. It's like, you were wearing a different shirt, you know? Right. So I say that, <laughs> that's why, you know? Actually, different shoes, yeah. Yeah, whatever it is um, that you don't, but you, so you, don't remember people? No, and you know, I'm really bad at names, but I think, I'm sure I'm, I actually know their names, so I just go for the gusto and go, hi, James, right? And I'm always wrong, and Kevin always stands behind me and goes, 
Just don't say anything. Just say nice to see you. But you still give it a shot. I always do because I'm sure I'm right. <laughs> and I think, won't they like me better when, when I've actually remembered their name? I mean, well, literally. Well, do you try different names? Or maybe you should just stick with James and eventually you'll be right. right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you try different You're names so every right. time? Yeah, yeah. I no, do. I'm, uh -huh. and I'm the worst when someone comes up, and you, you must, if you're like this, then you must be like this at the party, where someone comes up, and you're looking at Kevin saying, I have no idea who this is, <laughs> and I always, you just go, you, you've met Kevin before, right? Right, Hoping oh, that they'll absolutely. Say, and then what if they go, no? And then you're like, well, then, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're hoping, that's, the, that's their cue to say absolutely. their name. Absolutely, and usually they do. Usually yeah. they're very well behaved. But yeah. the people that just go, no. They just go, no, and you just, yeah. Then they deserve it, and they go, well, that's I don't know who you are. <laughs> 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 now, is this true? This is, uh, this is uh, uh, an amazing story if it is, and if it isn't, it's still amazing, um, because, it, <laughs> because it's a lie, and that's even more amazing. <laughs> This, in Us Weekly, it's, you saved uh, Kevin from drowning? You know, I wish I could tell you that that was true, but there's not one kernel of truth in that story. Really? No, it's so not true. I know, and I sounded so cool, didn't I? I was like, Kira saves the day, and she dives into the pool, and... What was know. he doing? Why was he drowning? Well, the, the story went that, <laughs> that he ate lunch and then dove into the pool, and... Drove, you know, I mean, drove, did I say drove? You did. I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do dove. Dove. Thank you. Well, if he, <laughs> thank you so it's much. It's a different story now, if he drove in the pool. <laughs> he dove into the pool, and he was swimming, and he got a cramp, and he said, Kira, Kira, and I went and saved him, and rubbed his belly, and, and, he, and said, there, there, honey, and he, and he, and Wait, he, you were in quotes saying, there, there? Yes. <laughs> They're there, honey, uh -huh. literally. And then, as a present for rescuing him, I, uh, he went out and bought me a $1,200 Louis Vuitton bag. Which, of course, you know, I could, I could buy myself my own Louis Vuitton bag. Right, right. <laughs> so I was a little yeah. irked by yeah. that statement. I thought, oh, that's a little sexist. Yeah. That's a shoes on my feet. I bought it. That's, that's right. right. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't that Queen Latifah? N no, that's Beyonce. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. You're down with it's it. It's okay. I'm trying. You yeah. see, I'm trying the name. Yeah. I'm trying. Right? Yeah. No, yeah. I think that's Beyonce. Am I right? No, Did... I'm sure you're right. I, I'm sure yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah. Right? Uh, well, you should know. Don't you have teenagers? Uh, I have a teenager, yeah. I have a 15-year-old and a 12-year-old who's almost a teenager. Uh -huh. But no, they're not into Beyonce. They no. don't listen to hip-hop? No, they're more into punk. Oh, that's right. Doesn't one have a band? Yes. Yeah, your husband was... Uh, and that's true. Uh-huh. But the do but the you know the pool thing is not true. Oh, yeah. And Kevin felt like an idiot actually when he read that story. Well, it's just amazing that there's not one <laughs> not ounce one. of truth, and it's a whole story. We didn't even swim. Oh. <laughs> that's incredible. That's amazing. Can't believe everything you read. Yeah, that's uh, it, it goes to show you. Were you near a pool? Um, yes, we were actually okay. near a pool. We, we right. ate lunch by the pool, okay, but so we didn't was, even stick a toe in the pool. There was, there was food, so he could have been having a cramp, and you could have been really <laughs> rubbing his belly. <laughs> you really wanted to stretch it. Yeah, right, I guess. Right. I don't yeah. know, I'm trying to find some truth in it. All right, we have to take you a break. You feel bad for Us Magazine, don't you? I feel bad yeah, for... Yeah, Well, no. No, I don't. I just feel bad that there's, there's just that there's too much going on. You don't have to make stuff up. Right. There's yeah. real stuff. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but anyway, we have to take a break. When we come back, we have a little surprise for you. We're back with Kira Sedgwick. That looks really good. Thanks. Now, and it's based on a novel, right? Yeah, it's, it's based on a novel written by Dorothy Allison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's something that I found and I really liked and... Um, are you a producer on it as yeah, well? Yeah, I'm a producer on it. Oh, Got the script great. written and Lisa, and who directed Cho it? Lisa Cholodenko, who did High Art and mm -hmm. uh, Laurel yeah. Canyon. Yeah. She's oh, amazing. I love, I love both of those films. Amazing job. And Laurel Canyon, I, I liked a whole lot too. That yeah. was a small film that, that I, I found and I just, I don't know why people don't find those small ones. Yeah. And it looks, it just feels good. It feels like New Orleans. I, you hear that noise and it just looks so woodsy and. But it's supposed to be Georgia, right? That's supposed to be Georgia, yeah, but we didn't actually shoot it in Georgia. I, I wish we had. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, it looks good. But you're always Thanks. doing you're always doing these very serious roles. You're so, Lately, I mean, you don't, yeah. You, you seem like you would Lately, be so... I've been weeping a lot. Yeah. And, you know, having to, like, <laughs> having to wear my um, heart on my sleeve. Yeah, it's been kind of tough. I, I really want to do, you know, an action movie. I want to do something, anything that's funny, singing, action... 
anything, green screen, Spock ears. Green screen, you know. Yeah. Spock ears. Absolutely. I can make that happen. Really? I think so. You're kidding. Wait, let me try my my technology. Oh my god. Beam me up. Amazing. Oh. I was just joking around saying beam me up, but here we are. Oh, this is so fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, and look at your little ears. They're adorable. Hey, where are your ears? It was your fantasy. I didn't want ears. Yeah, but I, I thought you were going to wear no, ears. No, no, you just wanted what you would have. Oh, oh, man, this is beautiful. It oh. seems like it. Oh, 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 Fun. Is there a Starbucks around here? I wonder. I hope so. I'm... So chalate. Oh God, here this is come. great. We oh. should get back to the show because there's okay. still people out there, you know. Oh, okay. All okay. right. Beam us back okay. if you can. Hopefully we can. Whoa! 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 Yeah. Showtime at 8 o'clock. One more thing right after this. Kira, thank you so much for being here. I want to thank Jimmy Fallon and Kira Sedgwick. Tomorrow on the show, Annette Benning and Nick Lachey will be here. Oh, and one more thing. Here are our spotlight dancers of the day, Robert Schwartz and Brittany Sarkissian. Take it away.